All right, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Today's experiment is a roller coaster bubble um, experiment. So what I have here is dry ice, adult supervision, right? It's in a bottle. I'm going to seal it off. And then I got a jar full of uh, Dawn soap uh, dish solution, bubble solution, and a slinky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the slinky up and uh, you can see there's a bubble all the way down on it. And then what I'm going to do is seal this off, dip it in there and make a bubble right there. Oops, let's try this again. And pop it right here and watch it roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> almost to the top, almost to the top. Try it again. Oh, they want to sink. The bubble wants to sink this time. Woo, it goes too quick there. So the bubble's going down. There it goes, all the way to the top. That is, that's success right there. It's a little hard, one man show here. And try it again to get the bubble solution all the way up. Put a bubble in. Up, oh, it wants to go down. There it goes. Nice. All the way up, the bubble roller coaster. So you can do this too at home. You don't have to have the dry ice, but the dry ice definitely helps you visualize the roller coaster of the bubble going up the slinky uh, on there. So uh, you can do it without that by just blowing a bubble into it. We're going to do it again. This one is a little difficult uh, with the one-man show. But I shut it off. You can see it coming out here. It's just creating these bubbles here that uh, I can't hold unless I have a, a glove um, because I have dirt on my hands. So we come in, raise it up, put the bubble in, pop it, and it goes up almost to the top. <laughs> All right, so um, yes, I realized when I did the experiment the first time I did it with the with the uh, dry ice, which made it really cool because you could see where the bubble was going up the slinky. But I realized most of you probably don't have that uh, uh, bubble maker. So you could just use a regular straw. It won't have the dry ice um, uh, vapor in there, but um, all you're doing is pulling it back up. I like the weight. When you first pull it up, you're going to see the water dripping down through the bubble, bubble and it's, it's going down really fast. And so you dip it into the solution and you just blow a bubble. And then you pop. Whoa, <laughs> it shot off really quick. Let's try it again. Let that water run, run down first because uh, it's going to be pushing the bubble down too quick. So let it roll down for a little bit and then dip it in. Pop it, and all the way to the top, <laughs> really cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is, so you see how to do it with the straw, um, we're gonna do multiple bubbles. So let's try it out, we'll start off with three. So we'll come up, let that water uh, go down. There's two. And pop. It's catching up. Picking up speed. Oh, I didn't make it all the way up there. I got stuck right here. A little harder with the, that many, but um, definitely they kind of like catch up. Bubbles kind of catch up to each other. Pop it, there it goes. Moving up, that's a good one. All the way to the top. Five bubbles right there. That's pretty cool. All right, so uh, make sure you comment below. Let me know how many bubbles you could get in your slinky on there. Um, and I appreciate it, I hope you enjoy this uh, experiment. 
please click, remember to click thumbs up and subscribe as I will do a new video every week or a new experiment every week. Thanks for watching.